Hello everyone, uh, this is kind of just a, a quick follow up video of the uh, the temperature sensors that I've been doing and uh, the, using multiple ones. Now, uh, some of you will have, oops, if we saw last time, I've uh, got some of these temperature sensors which are the DS18B20 temperature sensors which I said that I got quite excited, I, was, I wanted to use these in anger. So with them having the cover you can, like I have done here, I've, I've, well, it's empty now. I've been testing with uh, cold water. Um, worked very well. However, it's okay having a breadboard. However, if you want something more permanent and you're going to be you know, putting this into a bit, a bit more of a, not an industrial project, but something that's going to be um, more robust, a breadboard doesn't kind of do the trick. So what I've done is I've gone out to um, Maplin. Uh, that's the UK kind of electronic store that I use which is uh, close to me which I kind of frequent quite happily on uh, most weekends now and they do uh, these things here um, and they're called uh, well, PCB latch pins or you know, someone else will know the proper technology it's like a header but the one thing that was um, I think I've mentioned in one of the other videos is the fact that I managed to uh, get the temperature sensor the wrong way round now with these being the way they are, you can quite happily, if, if you keep a consistent way of uh, wiring the pins, you shouldn't run into making any of the temperature sensors that you then hook up the wrong way round. Um, if you manage to do it, you're, well, you, you just can't. So you just you just can't put them the wrong way around. So it helps keeping it in the, in the way. Now, one thing I have found is that um, when I built this, it enabled me, uh, even though I had the circuit up and running with the Raspberry Pi, as soon as you insert this, the, the actual um, the one wire uh, pickup detected the new temperature sensor. Yes, there's a way that I want to work with actually picking up that new sensor and allocating it. Now, someone has provided me a link through the Raspberry Pi forum to uh, with some Python code to display that. I haven't yet had to play around to see what happens with that, but I just wanted to go through uh, just a couple of things of um, I wanted to show following on from this, obviously I'll cut through, but I'll show you on how to make one of these up. So you've got this, which I now can't undo. If I just do this, cut through even tougher than I thought. There we go. So I'll show you on how to make this part up. Very simple. You uh, just need some uh, needle nose pliers, uh, and you should be good to go. Um, and then I'm going to go into uh, soldering it onto the uh, perf board. But if I'm honest, this is going to be the first time I've actually done it, so if I make a hash of it, then there we go. These boards are relatively dirt cheap, uh, Maplin, they're just a couple of pounds, I can't even remember, it's been a while since I bought this. But yeah, I intend on doing that. Uh, this also gives the ability of uh, putting your resistor in, and then, um, then you don't have to worry about anything else. You just allocate the power supply, again you can use um, one of the connectors for that. Uh, and get your power supply right and then as soon as you apply your um, GPIO pins across the power supply it's all done dusted, you can't, you, you can't hopefully get it wrong um, by all means uh, send your videos in if you have got it wrong uh, and we'll put on uh, epic fails or something like that so that's the first part for now, uh, this will be a, a continuous video so I'll just bolt onto this and we'll just cut to the next part 